What's up fish tank people? Doing a little update on the reef here. And before he goes away, and I'm not able to shoot him again. <clears throat> oh, well, you just saw him take off. Let's see if he'll come back down. Let's see if I can turn the flash off, which I apparently cannot. Well, you can see his legs there. And one of his claws. Uh, it's a big crab. Um, I didn't put it in here. It was a hitchhiker. I'm very familiar with what emerald crabs look like, and that is not an emerald crab. <clears throat> He's hairy, not green. Has rather large pinchers with black tips. The claws themselves are white and with black tips. If that helps anyone ID, I'll try to get them in the video a little later. But for now, I'll go over what's going on in the tank. Got myself a water mover. Everyone says that my power head looks like crap, so... Got a water mover. The anemone is getting significantly larger and is coloring up, so I'm assuming he's doing just fine and has recovered. And then we've got the zoanthids. And if anyone knows what that guy in the middle is, I'd be very happy to find out. It almost looks like some sort of pally, but I'm not sure. Got a Montipora here. And I rescued all these corals out of a guy's tank that crashed. And he wasn't sure if this guy was alive or not. I did the uh, goo test, and he seemed to be, and you can see the white on the tips there. So, generally that means growth. And this A-can, this is a red A-can. You can see it's barely starting to get some pink back. It was in the tank with no lights for quite a while. And it is growing a couple of new heads. You can see them there and there. And then we've got the Pally, which just looks awesome, with all of the Blastos. So, that's doing good. And that is a rundown of the corals. There's a mushroom, I'll see if I can film in a second. But here, here's that crab. Shoot, where's he at? Oh, took off again. Damn it. Maybe I'll wait until he's fully out. <laughs> and there is my watermelon mushroom. I fragged him and attached him to another rock, and then he decided he didn't like it, so he released and drifted back here to where he is now seems to be happy and he's getting rather large so that's cool hopefully they'll populate and in a way take over the tank which would be cool because they've got really awesome colors back to the crab I can't film and just as a little side note the only reason I'm really curious about this, well, two reasons. One, uh, it, if it's invasive and I don't want it in the tank, I need to know what it is. You can kind of see them there. And then, two, I'm not a huge fan of crustaceans. Um, mostly things with pinchers. Uh, the camera makes him look green. I promise he is not green. He's got kind of like a beige cream color to him. And he's got lots of hairs. So if anyone knows uh, or has an idea, let me know. At least give me some names that I can Google and see if they look like what he looks like. And then also, Coraline Algae taken off. You got it going there. 
and then some on that rock in the back you can see some going right here on this rock with the anemone so Coraline is taking off no purple up doing it the all natural way so that's what's going on with the reef guys um, any input would be great do's don'ts and suggestions just put it in the comments or private message me keep it fishy folks